DC Universe Rebirth, the biggest comics event of the 21st century. The greatest heroes and villains. The greatest graphic novels. The next epic starts here. Volume 1 collections of the best-selling comic books. Hey everyone, we're back with another uh, stage demonstration here from the DC University Art Academy. And we have, uh, we have Art and Franco here. Uh, yeah, we're Tepid gonna response from the crowd. Yeah. yeah. There you go, thank you. Right. Woo! So What's up, away. fellas? How's your Sunday? Oh, it's awesome, man. Yeah, man. It's like on Thursday we're thinking, wow, there's three days left. And on Sundays you're like, oh, it's the last day already, you know? So I want to keep going, you know? <laughs> this should make it another week long. Five more days? No. None of us can do five more days. N nobody here. Are there any kids out there? Because this, this, be, this would be your jam. Well, there is a small, very small child in front of us. All right. Two years old. So what are you guys doing here? We, uh... We're probably famous at DC for making Tiny Titans. That's right. And, Superman uh, Family Adventures, Superman. Yeah. Superpowers, a lot of different stuff. Yeah. So we're gonna, I'm going to draw a whole bunch of characters. You're awesome, sir. Thank you. I'm going to see how many characters I could draw in this 15 minutes or so. Let's do it. Yeah. So what are you starting on now? This is Robin for Tiny Titans. It looks good. Yeah. That's him, right? A, a, a speed <laughs> round, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the way I draw at home. I draw... Um, I fill up sketchbooks every day, and I just been drawing comics since I'm a little kid. And when DC asked me to make Tiny Titans, I was thrilled. I didn't believe it was. I thought it was a prank phone call. <laughs> so, Franco, what are you doing over there on the? Uh, I'm on drawing. The left side? <laughs> doing some drawings. He's a lot faster than I am, so we just <laughs> let him draw. Oh, okay. And then, and then eventually the, uh, we'll see what you have. Yeah, eventually. We'll, yeah, we'll go through the. We'll see what happens. Just know that for every one drawing or every five drawings he does, I have like a half one done. Okay, all right. So, yeah. It's a good scale. Here's a character I created for DC Comics. They didn't even know I created it until it was published. Like, wait a minute. He didn't exist before? This character called a Bat Cow created it in Tiny Titans Comics. And now we actually have a, we have a plush doll of yeah. Bat Cow. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> It's so cool because I'll get a plus. I'll get a box of plushies that deliver to my house, and I will open. I'll see Bat Cow in there. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Power to Bat Cow. I'm putting hearts on there. He's just he's awesome. just a normal cow who's worked out a lot. Why yeah. are there hearts? Yeah, just like Bat Batman. Cow. He's super yeah. smart. He's worked out. There's another guy I created for DC. They didn't even know this guy didn't exist either. His name is Robin. Robin. How do you, how do you, I mean, obviously Robin Robin seems pretty logical, but how do you yeah. think about all, how do you think of all this stuff? I don't know. It's just like always in my head. I probably have something in my head right now that, that's going to come out later tonight. You know, it's just, <laughs> just Robin Robin. But I, uh, I, I always think of characters. This is all I know how to do. Like I would drive trucks, but I was never good at driving trucks and all that stuff, sweeping floors, but cartooning is like tying my shoes. I do it every day. I'm, out, I'm from Chicago. That's why I said shoes. <laughs> you know, tie my shoes. <laughs> so what else next? we got? We're going to go classic. Some character from Superpowers. He's got theme songs. He's got movies. He's got actors portraying him. Oh, I've, heard, I've heard of this guy. I don't know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> the Superpowers are awesome. You guys read Superpowers? Yeah. All right. One guy. That's awesome. So what kind of comics did you read when you, were guys, when you guys were kids? Oh, man. I grew up on Super Friends. Super Friends. read a lot of Super Friends from D.C. Uh, or Hanna-Barbera Super Friends. And, um, With the Wonder Twins. Yeah, Wonder yeah. Twins. I'm always a classic guy. I grew up on uh, Batman, Superman, the Hulk, and Spider-Man. And I loved it when they teamed up. I got that Superman, Batman, or Superman, Spider-Man team up. Was, that was 
the best comic ever. My mom bought it for me and it had a $2 cover price when comics were like 35 cents or something. It was crazy. But superheroes, I had those old uh, cloth Mego action figures with the cloth capes. Oh, yeah. Those, they came out before Star Wars. I had all those I used to play with. And that was the first time I ever saw Green Arrow. And, and Aquaman was on TV, but I never had the Green Arrow before. And Mixopitalik, I had an action figure in him. It's crazy. So I've been, I've been, I've been into superheroes since I'm a little kid. It never went away. Now I get to draw the Superman and Batman. It's so weird. I would advise that the the kids stick around here. We have we're gonna have like 90 sketches in about yeah. three minutes. <laughs> no, we have yeah. to give away. And it was funny because my dad um, saw the Superpowers book. He read the book and he said, um, he says, well, you've been drawing comics all this time and, you, and you're working at DC Comics and you finally get to make Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman in a comic. He's like, what are you going to do now? What else can you do? He said, like, I don't know, Dad. I think I made it. I want to do more comics. So he's amazed. You see this climb of, in the comic industry and finally you get to Superman. So what was your inspiration for the Superpowers book? Um, we just want to make Justice League. Like, um, we did the Superman family, yeah. and we had so many stories. We wrote, like, 50 issues of that. And it only went to issue 12, but we still had more stories to tell. So Superpowers is actually a sequel to Superman Family Adventures, but we included the whole Justice League this time. And... and and that was six issues, and we still have 50 issues left to tell. So <laughs> we want to keep making stories and keep uh, keep uh, showing DC Comics what, what our stories are so they keep liking them. So we're waiting to see what we, we could do something next, you know? I already drew back row, but here's... Oh, I could... Yeah, it's back row, but I could draw her again. I'll make her I mean, a little it'll, older. Yeah, it'll take you, like, it'll take you two minutes, yeah. so <laughs> might as well. I'll make her a little older. She's a teenage one. Franco, what were you reading there or watching when you were a kid? I was watching, uh, you know, Batman, the the '66 Batman. I grew up on that stuff, oh, and yeah. that was that was uh, my intro to to comics. But then, uh, oh, to to superheroes. But then the comics it was the Teen Titans. Um, I had that issue where uh, Marv Wolfman and George Perez like go looking for the do well the Teen Titans go looking for the Doom Patrol, and then they don't find them, and I. And I couldn't get the next issue because the drugstore, I, I wasn't aware of the concept of monthly comics. So I got one issue and I'm like, oh, what happens? And I went back to the store and it wasn't there. And they said, oh, maybe next month. And it went next month and there were no issues. And I was like, ah. Oh. So for 20 years, I never knew how that story ended. <laughs> Some long lasting scar. Yeah. <laughs> I think we found it one time walking around here. We yeah. found that issue. And you found the next one to come next. But do you think if he gets it, though, he might just stop comics? I mean, that just might be it. He might just have to well, That's it. One comic. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> one. I finally got it. I don't have to do this anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it is true. See, who's so what, another guy I could draw? What do you got there? Starfire. That was Beast Boy. Beast I'm Boy? I'm Starfire now. All the characters from Tiny Titans. You know, one time, um, I know there's over 220 characters in Tiny Titans. Because one time... Um, this little boy lost his sketchbook at a show, and he wrote me a letter. He was real sad that he, someone lost it or stole it or misplaced something happened. So I bought a sketchbook, and, I, and one of those little mini ones, and I drew on every page. I drew a character on every page, and I mailed it to him with a note that said, you have to color them all. So, <laughs> but that, so I noticed 220, page, 220 characters. That's Starfire. I'm going to draw Raven, too. Here's Raven. Did he ever color them? Did he ever get back to you? Oh, uh, no, I don't know what happened, yeah. <laughs> if, if his parents were collectors, they probably said, don't touch it, you know? But I, yeah, it's cool. Usually I color with crayons, but... Uh, Do you really color sketches. crayon? Yeah, at conventions, yeah. Oh, wow. So we got a table at, down this row in small press, and um, I could color some of these if you want. Maybe. Depends. My arm hurts after. No, nah, we're good. It's like weird. It's like whenever I do something else with my arms, I'm uncomfortable. So I got to get back to drawing. And I, <laughs> and I have a sketchbook in every room of my house. It's true. I got one in my pocket. Look. Sketchbook. Right there. 
it's it's curved to me now. So I know it's, I personalized it, you know. <laughs> but it goes on a plane with me, and when I'm on an airplane, I do a lot of stories. So I get all my ideas when when no one's around or, you know, Raven. It's kind of cool. Let's see what else? I, and I also make super pet books. You guys read the super pets? I do them from uh, Capstone. But I did a super pet encyclopedia and their chapter books. And um, a few years ago, DC Comics asked me to redesign like 300 of their DC characters so we can make this encyclopedia. And I drew guys like Dead Man and invented his pet and stuff like that. So it's kind of cool. I get to drew Dead Man, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, all these characters. There's Crypto. It was the new Blue Beetle, the Jamie. Yeah, Jamie Reyes, yeah. Yeah, I love it, man. That's all I want to do for the rest of my life. I'm doing it right now, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, See? I know you are doing yeah, it right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm yeah. doing all right. <laughs> you come to a place for a weekend, everybody tells you yeah, how great you chilling. are, how cool your stuff is, <laughs> yeah. and you're just drawing the whole time. That's great. <laughs> and the guys are looking at me in the back room. What's up, fellas? Right there. <laughs> is there any character that you... Uh, sorry, huh? uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you, you, you're good. Is there, uh, is there any character you haven't drawn at this point in your books? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't draw a lot of the Vertigo guys, Vertigo guys yet. Well, but I did know. draw the Doom Patrol. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. I, yeah, I don't know. I drew a lot of guys, yeah. I'm always drawing something. Riddler's pet? Yeah, he has a... I forget what the pets are. It's been a while. But he has... Um, he's got something. I forgot. Yeah, he's got something with us. Yeah, I forget. Shame on me. Yeah, the Joker has a Joker fish. Yeah, the Joker fish. The Joker fish. So yeah, I, don't, I forget what the Riddler has. You guys have like five minutes. How many? How many do you think you can knock out in five minutes? We have a record. About Sixty of them. Cartoon <laughs> live. Yeah. Here's a Joker fish. He's one of my favorites. I got the Joker pet plushies in the mail, and I was like, "What the? <laughs> what is this thing?" They are my genuinely are horrifying. They are <laughs> terrifying. Yeah, my kids were scared. My wife was, said, what is that thing? I said, it's a joker fish, honey. He's so harmless because he's in the water all day, so I don't know how he can hurt you. Joker fish. We did, it, we did a story with the joker fish, one of those uh, the cartoon. No, we did uh, some stuff for Cartoon Network. It was uh, bumpers in between the stuff, so the, the super pet stuff is, is uh, from us. You can look them up on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, they're on yeah. YouTube. DC Super Pets. Yeah. And who's this? This is Badge. This is the Green Lantern Squirrel. So I messed up on his leg. Look at that. So I'm going to make it longer. Say I fixed it. But this is Badge. Remember, um, the Green Lantern Squirrel's name was Chip. And in one of the stories, Chip got killed by a, a yellow school bus. Boom, not when... The ring left the squirrel and found another squirrel, and it, and it found Badge. Yeah, and I found out his name is spelled like this. And Jeff Johns told me how to spell it. Yeah, he <laughs> told me on a call me on a phone. It's it's like Badger, but Badge. You, just, you don't say the juror part. <laughs> yeah, it's him. <laughs> what a weird life. <laughs> Jeff Johns calls you on the phone to correct you about an yeah. obscure Green Lantern character. It's amazing. Yeah, we're pals. <laughs> Sure you are, Baltazar. Sure you are. This is um, Comet the Super Horse. Comet the Super Horse is a really strange character because he has a whole bunch of different origin stories. And it started out where he got cursed, like Beauty and the Beast. He got cursed and put in a horse body, but he loved Supergirl. But he couldn't talk to her and tell her. So that was his curse. And he's a horse. It's a and torture, somehow he got powers. torture character. Yeah. But it'd be alright to be a horse. Especially if you got powers. You had a cape. You could fly. And a cape, fly. Yeah, and an S shield, yeah. Yeah. Becoming a super pet. Yeah. So who else we got? I don't know who else. How about Cyborg? You know why I like doing our demos with you guys? Yeah. Is that other people, you, you need to give them the hook, but... You're like, oh, God, I don't know if this guy's going to finish in, like, five minutes or three minutes. Yeah. You're going to finish in the next 20 seconds. Yeah. yeah. It's did amazing. You just have, did you have Jill up here? She did one drawing, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I don't mess around. Yeah, okay, it was spectacular, but yeah, it, was it was one drawing. It was pretty terrific. I mean, yeah. come on. Anybody can use watercolor. Yeah. Uh, it takes yeah. a real pro to do 70 <laughs> Sharpie sketches in two minutes. No, nah, she's awesome. Cyborg. Who else we got? I don't know. I'm running out of... Wait, I got to have more guys. How about uh, give us some Aquaman love? Do a regular Aquaman and then a Jason Momoa Aquaman. Oh, I can do Jason Momoa Aquaman. Aquaman has all kinds of underwater pets. This is Topo, the octopus. What is this? <laughs> that is. <laughs> Please it's tell to- us. It's Topo. Look oh, it. it's Topo. <laughs> yeah. I learned about Topo the other day. I did not I know, know Topo a- existed. Yeah. <laughs> Aquaman always has different kind of underwater things going on. He's mysterious. But Steve Orlando miraculously called that out trivia. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> I don't know if Topo's a boy or a girl. I think it's a boy. I'm never unsure what octopus is. <laughs> hey, Art, can you draw Harley Quinn? Harley Quinn, yeah. Yeah, I started. I had Mara. That's going to be Mara. Here's Harley. We saw Jason Momoa yesterday walk by our table, and I think he took some of my testosterone level. <laughs> I was sitting there, and I'm like, oh, what was that? Just and I saw the level went down. So just by, just take, by walking by. Yeah, just by walking. He's so awesome looking. And so I, I think I'm about four days I should be all right. Maybe a cup of coffee. Four days. I don't yeah. think that. It's mean more than four days. It might be. <laughs> I got to get home and sleep for four yeah, days. Yeah, exactly. I got to go. And not only that, but I have to sleep in the Fortress of Solitude. I get it. <laughs> were, you, were you guys here yesterday when the Justice League was here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They, they walked past our table and then they walked back and then... The line they kept delaying because the whole cast went by, and then the security guard walked past and then walked back up. Oh, yeah. And then he looked at me, he goes, Figures yeah. the flash is a slow one. And he's the last guy to come down the line. <laughs> I'm like, That's awesome. And I love Mara. I'm so glad she's in a new movie. I saw a picture of her for the movie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, she's she's awesome. I make custom action figures too with those classic 70s Meagle cloth dolls. Uh-huh. And I'm working on her right now. I had a girl reroute the hair. She has real long hair. She put sparkles in it. It looks cool. Yeah, that art guy's a nerd. You know. No, but that's she's awesome. All right, let's get a couple more in here. Actually, maybe we just finish up this one and we can give some sketches away. Oh yeah, we'll hook you up at the end. Yeah, we'll make sure I don't bring home any. <laughs> How much time we got? That's it. We're done. We're not done yet. No, we're going. All right. Because we could do another 30 drawings if we got a few minutes. Franco, how many do you have over there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, I told you're you I'm ca- slow. You're catching. You're keeping up. I'm slow. Hey, he's doing all right. He's... I mean, it, there's a lot more than 12 here, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Second yeah. place is also important. Thanks. Thanks for rubbing it in. You're Thanks. welcome. Appreciate it. This is Jason Momoa Aquaman. My favorite part of that trailer is that hair flip. Oh, so cool. That makes me want to see the movie even more. He's got armor, right? Eh? I'm making it up. I'm going to give him Batman things. <laughs> <laughs> Batman things. He's got some hairy chest action going on. See, then I get distracted because I just watch him draw, too. So... I get distracted because then I just watch him draw too. That's been a song. Bom, bom, mm, 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 Looks mm. almost as good as he does in real life. Mm-hmm. I'm going to draw this guy. I'm going to go. How did the kids say? Is it still retro, vintage, back in the day, whatever they say now? Throwback, they would yeah. say. Throwback, yeah, Throwback Thursday. See, I should draw to save this for Thursday, but this is the guy who goes, Enoch Chuck. You guys know this guy? Yeah, Apache Chief from the Super Friends. Yeah, he's awesome. But I always draw him on a necklace and like a shirt. He looks better. Yeah, he gets big when he says that word. And he fights Giganta. I'm going to give him shorts because he needs them. <laughs> he's going to go underwater. He needs them. He so don't how, go underwater. He gets real big. How do you guys usually give away sketches here? Do you just... Hand them yeah, to I just, the, yeah, these yeah, wonderful people in the crowd. crowd yeah. All right. They're going to go crazy. Look. 
We love you. Usually let you do it so you can beat a bad guy. Okay, cool. <laughs> Great. Great to hear. Yeah, man. <laughs> so I got a bunch of sketches. Kids first, right? Kids first. Yeah, kids first. If I see anybody with any facial hair ask me for <laughs> a sketch, I'm going to be real mad. Oh, here's some and look, at here's what Franco drew. He drew the Flash. He drew Robin. Of course, there's Batman. There's Crypto. Superman, Man of Steel. Get some Raven going on there. Another Batman. The Joker. Mr. Wayne. And then there's Harley. Green Lantern. Yeah. <laughs> Beast Boy. And... Bum -ba -bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -ba -bum -ba -dum, super girl. And you guys are awesome. Thank you. We're going to give you stuff. And there's hey, your invisible man. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's awesome. Spreading invisible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking that's an iPhone right there. It's the reflection. Yeah. Hey, everyone, give it up for Art and Franco. They oh, are man. great. Thanks, Thanks, guys. More, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Come see us by our booth. It's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs>